Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it is my privilege to welcome you to this landmark gathering, the first U.S. ASEAN summit hosted by the United States. This reflects my personal commitment and the national commitment of the United States to a strong and enduring partnership with your 10 nations individually and to Southeast Asia as one region, as one community, ASEAN. I want to thank my co-chair, President Chomali of Laos, Secretary General Ming, and leaders from all 10 ASEAN nations for being here. As everyone knows, I first came to know the people and the beauty and the strength of Southeast Asia as a boy when I lived in Indonesia for several years with my mother. As president, I've had the opportunity to visit most of your countries. You and the people of ASEAN have always shown me extraordinary hospitality, and I hope we can reciprocate with the warmth today and tomorrow, which is why I did not hold this summit in Washington. It is cold there. It's snowing. So welcome to beautiful, warm, sunny lands. As President, I've insisted that even as the United States confronts urgent threats around the world, our foreign policy also has to seize on new opportunities. And few regions present more opportunity to the 21st century than the Asia Pacific. That's why early in my presidency, I decided that the United States, as a Pacific nation, would rebalance our foreign policy and play a larger and long-term role in the Asia Pacific. And this has included engagement with Southeast Asia and ASEAN, which is central to the region's peace and prosperity and to our shared goal of building a regional order where all nations play by the same rules. As part of our deeper engagement, I'm proud to be the first U.S. President to meet with leaders of all 10 ASEAN countries. This summit marks our seventh meeting. At your invitation, the United States joined the East Asia Summit, and together we've made it the region's leading forum for addre addressing political and security challenges. I've made now seven visits to the ASEAN region, more than any previous American president. At our last meeting in Kuala Lumpur, we forged a new strategic partnership, and our sustained engagement is delivering concrete results that benefit all of us, momentum that we can build on here at this summit. Together, we can continue to increase the trade and economic partnerships that create jobs and opportunity for our people. Since I took office, we've boosted trade between the United States and ASEAN by 55 percent. The region is now our fourth largest goods trading partner, including U.S. exports that support more than 500,000 American jobs. U.S. companies have been the largest source of foreign investment in ASEAN. One of the many reasons that the region's GDP has surged in recent years, lifting people from poverty into the middle class. I want to take this opportunity to again congratulate my fellow leaders on the formation of the ASEAN community, which is another important step toward integrating your economies. Here at this summit, we can build on this progress and do more to encourage entrepreneurship and innovation so that growth and development is sustainable and inclusive and benefits all people. Together, we can also continue to increase our security cooperation to meet shared challenges. In recent years, the United States has increased our maritime security assistance to our allies and partners in the region, improving our mutual capabilities to protect lawful commerce and to respond to humanitarian crisis. Here at this summit, we can advance our shared vision of a regional order where international rules and norms, including freedom of navigation, are upheld and where disputes are resolved through peaceful legal means. Together, we can continue to support the aspirations and dignity of our citizens. The historic election in Myanmar and the transition now underway gives hope for a nation that is inclusive, united, peaceful, and democratic. In joining the TPP, Singapore, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Brunei have committed to high labor and environmental standards. I'm very proud that our Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative is helping to empower young men and women who are shaping the region every day. As you know, I've held a number of town hall meetings with these remarkable young people. And their idealism, their courage, their willingness to work for the future that they believe in should all give us hope. As leaders, we have to answer 
their aspirations. And here at the summit, we can reaffirm that strong, prosperous, and inclusive societies require good governance, rule of law, accountable institutions, vibrant civil societies, and upholding human rights. Finally, together, we can continue to do more around the world to meet transnational challenges that no one nation can meet alone. As we were reminded again by the attack in Jakarta last month, the scourge of terrorism demands that we stay vigilant, share more information, and work cooperatively to protect our people. Just as our nations work together to achieve a strong climate change agreement in Paris, now we need to implement that agreement and step up investment in clean, affordable energy, including for developing countries. So, economic growth, growth that is inclusive, creating opportunities for all, mutual security and the peaceful resolution of disputes, human dignity, including respect for human rights and development that is sustainable, that is our vision, and that's what brings us here together today. I want to thank all of my fellow leaders for being here and for your commitment to a strong U.S.-ASEAN partnership. And given the extraordinary progress that we've achieved together these past seven years, I'm confident that we can continue our momentum at this summit. With that, I want to invite President uh, Jamali to say a few words as well. Mr. President. You, Honorable, Honorable President Barack Obama, Your Majesty, dear ASEAN colleagues, at the outset, it is my great honor and pleasure to co-chair this ASEAN-US Special Summit. And I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to President Barack Obama for the warm welcome and hospitality extended to my delegation, as well as for the excellent arrangement made for this summit, being held here in this beautiful city of sunny lands. Taking this opportunity, I would also like to express my condolences to the U.S. government on the passing away of Mr. Mr. Antonin Scalia, Associate Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. Once again, on behalf of the Lao government, I wish to extend my deep sympathy and condolences to the government and people of Indonesia, especially to the families of victims of the recent, the recent terrorist attack uh, happened in Jakarta on the 14th January 2016. Dear colleagues, United States is one of ASEAN's important dialogue partners, and the cooperation between ASEAN and the U.S. has continued to be enhanced and strengthened since the establishment of our relations in 1977. Importantly, at the third ASEAN-U.S. summit held in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in November 2015, both sides agreed to elevate ASEAN-US relations to a strategic partnership and also adopted the joint statement on the ASEAN-US strategic partnership, as well as the ASEAN-US plan of action for the period of 2016 to 2020 based on the progress and achievements made over the years in the ASEAN-US cooperation. This ASEAN-US Special Summit is providing us an excellent opportunity to exchange our views and also provide direction for our officials in order to implement the outcome of the previous UN uh, ASEAN-US summit in view of further strengthening our strategic partnership 
for the promotion of durable peace, stability, and prosperity for the future benefits of our nations and peoples. As chair of ASEAN in 2016, the Laupida stands ready to work closely with other ASEAN member states and the U.S. in order to ensure that this strategic partnership will bring about fruitful results. I firmly believe that our deliberation in this summit will also be crowned with a great success. Thank you. Thank you very much.